Hey, welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. So, we're still at the park. Again, as you know, we've checked hover. We're okay to fly here. This time, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get out of this uh, sun a little bit, is I'm going to try the iPad. Now, I've tried a number of Android devices, so I'm trying my iPad this time around and see how it works. Beautiful screen. I know True Drone Reviews, you mentioned this looked a little clunky or what have you, but uh, again, it is a little bit big, and I gotta say it's a little bit heavy. I'm not going to use it with the straps. It's not that heavy. Uh, but the view, I mean, the size of the screen is just uh, amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, try a flight with this. The other thing you notice, I've unfolded the uh, circle, and I don't seem to be getting the same errors. Now, one of the other things that I've noticed, if there's any pressure against that gimbal, you get a gimbal error on here, and you either have to turn the copter off, restart it, or you have to let it sit about a minute or so without the gimbal uh, coming in contact with anything. So very sensitive about that, it seems. So uh, let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and take this up. I'm going to arm this. So let's go ahead. I've got GPS. And again, I'm going to enable video recording. Yes, we'll let it access the microphone. Just do a real quick little walk around. Check this bad boy out. Hi. Everything seems to be looking good. So I'm going to step back here in the shade a little bit. And I'm going to go out and take it up a little bit. And uh, I'm flying it in normal mode now because I, I want to focus more so on the, the actually the application. So let me readjust the hat cam. So I got it up there. So I don't know if you can see this, but uh, I don't know how one would do screen recording on this or if there is an option for it on the iPad. I know Lychee has some sort of built-in mechanism uh, for that. But man, I tell you guys, the uh, view here is phenomenal as far as uh, uh, looking at it on the screen. So let's take it up a little bit. So, I mean, as far as flying, now I think glare would be a problem. Now, I'm in the shade right now, fortunately. I don't know if you can see it. If I step outside, I mean, the screen basically goes black. But I'm fortunate to be under this cover. Hopefully, the wind isn't acting up too big. I'm going to take this out. It's giving me some uh, sort of error when I go to take this out. That was kind of weird. It's like there's something in front of it. I wonder if it could be bugs or something. I mean, I'm up high enough. I'm at 32 meters. So I'm above those trees. I want to stay clear. I know there's some power lines out there. I want to stay clear of those. They're out there quite a bit, though. So I want to stay clear of those. So I want to turn this back around towards me. I also hear a small aircraft, so I'm going to bring this down a little bit. Until I have line of sight of that aircraft. So I'm going to actually bring it back, this back towards me. I keep getting a, a frontal warning on this. So I want to bring it back this way. And then I'm going to, I've got it down fairly low, so 27 meters. I should be pretty good and I can react quick enough. I think it's off to my left quite a ways, so I just want to be respectful of any type of small aircraft. But so far, so good uh, on this. So, uh, but one of the things I think I am going to do, let's see, let's see, let's see how this bad boy around. And, uh, well, let's point it back towards my home location. Now I want to bring it back towards the home location. I want to try something for a minute. So let's bring it back in. And then let's bring it down a little bit. I wonder if it's because it's pointing a little bit. Now nah, I wasn't pointing into the sun before. I'm just trying to figure out why I keep getting an intermittent obstacle warning. I want to see how much battery I got. So 
So what I want to do is just bring it in a little bit closer to me. Because uh, one of the things I want to try to do, I'm going to hit the remote controller. I'm going to green to intelligent flight mode. And I'm going to go to quick shot. And I'm going to say... That's interesting. If the if the copter is recording video, you can't enter quick shot mode. I did not know that. Did you guys know this? Um, cannot enter this mode due to aircraft recording video. Tap OK to stop recording. So I'm going to tap OK to stop recording. So hopefully that recorded. I'm going to go ahead and tap it. A camera settings adjusted to active track. And so I'm going to hit this. I'm going to go back to quick shot. And uh, I don't know. That's odd. Uh, drag it. Come box around target and screen. So all right. So uh, let's do this. Just do the tree. I'm just going to do the tree in front of it. And then I'm going to show. I'm going to do a droney. So I'm going to tell it OK. So active track. Go. Uh, use this feature in an open area. Yes, I told you. Go! And aircraft quick shot mode ensure your environment is clear. Yes, I did do that. So now it's backing away, but it's not climbing. Now I've heard of folks mentioning that this is a problem. The, the, the drone, as you see, is it's pulling away from where I'm at, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, it's actually not rising at all. You can see it's holding at 12 meters. And so I'm going to stop that. So I'm actually in that little uh, pagoda area over there. I don't know if it recorded or not. That's interesting. So let's uh, let's put it back in normal mode. And let's start recording. So I'm not sure if it got that. I'm, I'm assuming it recorded when it went into active shot mode. Uh, but I'm in that little pagoda area. I'm just making sure everything's still clear around me. And it is. So I'm gonna bring I'm gonna bring this guy back in a little bit, so you can kind of see the photo abilities of this thing is just killer. Um, for a YouTube copter, a vlogging copter, this thing is just uh, so cool. And so I want to bring this back in, and I'm gonna stop it there, and. Let's see, I don't hear that plane anymore. The wind's picking up a little bit. Uh, I'm still getting that intermittent um, obstacle avoidance. Whoops, I just stopped it when it was recording. Ah, my bad. So let's go ahead, let's, let's take it up a little bit more. Let's take it up to about 150 feet. So we'll go up to about 50 meters. The airplane uh, is gone, so. Okay, I'm at about 50 meters. Let's do a little bit of yaw, a little smooth yaw round for Norbert. So great views out here. Um, so I also learned something. So you can't, you can't video or have the video running while you enter quick shot mode. So that's that's a new one. And uh, look, look, guys, you know, before you write and give me hate mail, um, I'm sharing with you my learning experiences. This is not a tutorial how to do this. This is me learning how to do this. So hopefully you'll learn something or you'll see the experience of Joe Average User literally uh, learning how to use a Spark. And so, uh, you know, that's what this is all about. This is sort of just like a flying vlog, my experiences. So, uh, you know, no hate mail, please. I'm just out here having a good time and, uh, you know, hopefully sharing a little bit with you guys. So, uh, because I tell you what, this little copter is fun. I tell you, out of all the drones I have, this is the funnest one so far I've gotten. Uh, one of the things I do want to experiment with is some FPV racing. We're up there. Uh, but one of the things, as you probably saw in my last video, it takes quite a bit, uh, you know, for space for FPV. So I'm out here... In, in, in a relatively big space. This is guys, and uh, I was probably even a little bit tight for that. So if you're going to do that type of stuff, you really need some room, uh, especially as you're learning. And so uh, just sort of, you know, Joe's opinion on that. So uh, we're starting to get down on battery. So, um, 
in my opinion on the the iPad no problem I want to get in here in the shade a little bit it's going to do a return to home here in a couple seconds but you can see the view the view is phenomenal I do need to get do some kind of sunshade on this thing hopefully you're seeing this um, but this is great I'm gonna to have to play a little bit more with intelligent flight modes and uh, hack around with that a little bit um, but again I have to say I think this works better on uh, iOS than it does Android sorry folks I'm because I'm trying to convert over to Android and I'm gonna let this return to home and okay so we're returning to home and so anyways I'm trying to convert over but I, I tell you what I think I'm gonna have to go with uh, iOS for the DJI products you notice I've got no screen loss no flickering uh, no, I'm touching the screen and it's not doing anything. All that kind of stuff is is gone. So uh, I'm very happy with this. And so I think what I'm going to end up doing is getting an iPad Mini. Um, yeah, because a full size iPad is it's not bad. This this is an old. This is the original iPad Air. This isn't the brand newest one. I think the iPad Air too. Uh, but it handles the DJI Go app very well uh, with no issues. Uh, and then it also has a nice viewing area. So again, with my older eyes, uh, it does a very good job. I just want to make sure I'm not landing on the building. And so far I'm not. So let's see uh, how it comes on this, this helipad. So far, with the helipad open, the landing pad, it has done, it has done better. For some reason, with that closed, it was really acting weird. I thought I could get away with it, but I couldn't. So I'm just nudging it over a little bit, and nudging it back. And so we're just gonna, we got a little bit of a gust of wind coming in now. We're just gonna bring it down. And there we go. We've got another great flight of the Spark, and out here in beautiful field, uh, I wanna make sure I save the video. Whoop, almost forgot to do that, my bad. Um, but again, I like the pad now that I figured out because again, here is the disc. I don't know if I could maybe just use the disc because this 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 is its case and that's what I was using because this is really big enough. I mean, because that's a little bit of overkill and I was afraid that the a little bit of wind would pick it up. Now it does come with stakes as you see dropped over here, but I didn't want to go through the whole problem of uh, putting them in if I had to pick up and go pretty quick. Uh, to dig up stakes. If, uh, literally, that's a little bit of funny. Uh, iPad 2 has worked well. So, so far, this entire combination uh, is doing really well with the Spark, so I couldn't be happier. So, with that being said, um, I won't bore you any longer. Uh, remember, give it a big thumbs up. It helps me produce more of these, or gives me a reason to produce more of these, I should say, because uh, really don't make any money off these, except maybe a few cents here or there. Uh, but anyways, um, Hit me up in the comments below if you like this, if you want to see me do something else or check out something else on the Spark. It's great, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers, folks.